Welcome back. This week we're going to see the defense of Redcliffe Village against these undead hordes. Unfortunately, there won't be a codex reading this week because, well, I recorded the reading but didn't realize that my um, mic wasn't on. At this point, I don't know. Which one? Which ones we've done and which ones we haven't? So I guess instead we're just going to launch into the assault. And yep, yeah, we definitely want Morgan. Alistair's good, Stan's good. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. I'm ready to make my stand here. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Nope, I'm ready now. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. anything more. Don't follow me. There's Perver there. Silly problem with 
They can and will just run straight into the fire. You're going to die if you don't get out of there. Tis you. Yes, tis me. Is there anything more coming? Of course there is. Retreat again. It will be dark. A bit more dark. from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Come on! We need to hurry! Where shall I strike? I go down there.
Cast it on her. Lloyd's dead. Wonderful man alive. Oh! <laughs> 
Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folks beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. There is still much more to do, Van Tegen. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. May their ancestors give them welcome. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Yes, you know, everyone lived aside from the Those couple knights who were dumb enough to actually walk into the fire. Well, and boy, it's such a terrible tragedy that that man didn't survive the night. Good day. There are many gone whom we must honor, but we must also remember those who aided us in our darkest hour. Yeah. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive, and it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. You're quite welcome. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. Oh, hey, looks like Blackstone and Michael are regulars. Hi. Maker's blessings upon you, Warden. Just the wheels. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. That's a commendable attitude. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. Thank you. So we won the battle? If 
This is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying. I don't want to think about what fighting the Dark Swarm will be like. Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to get drunk first, though, if you'll excuse me. Not necessarily in the reasonable reaction. Horror awaits those who perish outside of the Maker's forgiveness. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. Please calm down, you're hysterical. I... I don't mean to. I, I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died... So horribly. And she... She was not repented. I need... I need to help everyone. To prepare. I'm so sorry, perhaps I could help you. Help? Me? There is no help for me. I just miss my wife so much. This is all so horrible. I... I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself. Let's see. Has Duin gone back to his house? Looks like he might have. Phew, some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Why is that? Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. So I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. Thank you for helping with the battle. Hey, anything for Redcliffe, right? Whatever. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or something. Go celebrate or whatever you have to do. What do you intend to do now? Rebuild. Same thing I intended to do before. Except this time, there's more humans left alive to help. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero, or something. No, you don't actually have to need to steal. Cool. Alright. Very well. A chest somewhere that I couldn't open. Here's the general store. As you say. Buster Lake Cure. That is as good as what I currently have. Militia, 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 Anything I can get you? I need some supplies. Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. Oh, 
Jeez, I can actually just take everything. Alright, cool. Anything I can get you? I should go. Good luck to you then. Huh? What's a dark spawn look like? Worse than those things we fought? No, 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 wait. I, I don't want to know. Alright. And now you work myself to go halfway across the map. You were very quiet, Stan. Only compared to some. That's it. Nothing more. Just you're very quiet, Stan. Nothing. Earth. Ah, it is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Yes. I wasn't trying to shock as you. As you wish. Move along, friend. Very well. Thank you. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you enter the castle in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Careful, this could be an ambush. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Assault, don't you? Alistair. Over all that... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances, 
Please, Lady Azold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. But what about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. They've killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please! Tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Lugains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Why do I feel you are telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? It's a rather impertinent accusation. Impertinent for a dwarf, you mean? No, I did not mean... That is to say, I... I please, stop this. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? So why must Tigan go wrong? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Enough questions for you to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tiga. Bless you. What good will that do? I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? What exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. 
Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isold, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You must send this evil no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world, but I will not argue with you. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. By my answer. Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Are you the mage Lady Assault mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. She said you poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. What about all the walking corpses? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isold came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. So apparently she had enough men yet to torture him. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Maleficar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! But why did the RLS need a mage to her son? Connor had started to show signs. 
Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. That's surprising. Why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful arm. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Hmm. Arlim had no idea of his son's abilities. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach, Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell. Never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. So how will you make things right? I... well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I think you'll stay in your cell for now. Then I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. So, go over one thing to note in regard to dungeons, and know it's traditionally seen as being something which a staple of medieval buildings and such are dungeons, but my understanding is that they really yes. weren't all that common. This being is that materials were rather expensive, and you were paying to build a space, a space to hold people. And you were supposed to fundamentally keep people in the manner to which they're accustomed. Um, which I think I mentioned in an earlier one. But yeah, this sort of space would only be good for. Or, well, probably peasants. And you'd have to you know, feed them, more or less clothe them. as it is likely yours, they're not going to be earning you any money or paying you any taxes while they're in here, so you're effectively just paying to house someone. So, they, so I mean, they might keep you or they might... So if they had this at all, they'd like probably only keep them in here very, very briefly before they render whatever judgment and punishment they would.
wonder if that's going to be getting up anytime soon. Spirits, we must be on our guard. it. As you say.
shades had a fire going. How nice. It is some kind of trap. I should have sold a bunch of stuff. Yeah, 
so. Sten is now injured. What we need for this is. I am ready. Silent, you are safe. I I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My my name's Belena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she all right? What happened to everyone? Belena, the Smith Star? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel beating. Out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I've killed them. Most of them, it's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you wish of me? Um, not talk to you, actually.
you say. As you say. Realistically, they're able to shoot us from that distance. Your word. It Off is done. I shall do it. Shall I strike? Okay, quick save. An order. Snap. As you said.
last and I feel different. Very well. Let me out here. Uh, see, I find this is kind of an interesting setup for the uh, courtyard here. I have a secondary wall here. Shoot anyone who happens to break in through the main gate. Um, not sure to what extent they'd actually do this. There could be other defenses they could have set up, possibly just so people on the main walls shooting down with the might increase the distance a bit. Um, so I feel like they might they can actually have. Use this as a place to have a door so you have better point of ingress. But anyway, so that is where I will call it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I should be back in a week with another new episode, and have a good night.